YouTube, welcome back. It's uh, Season 2, Episode 2 of the Brim4799 Let's Play. Uh, we've done a little bit of work um, since we were last together, and I thought I'm up on top of the tower. Uh, gives us a pretty good view of the village, which actually turned out to be a, fa a fairly small village, but, you know, it's a place to start. Um, today we're going to try to get down in the ground and get our mine shaft started, uh, but I thought I'd let you take a look at what uh, I have done while we were apart. Um, so I modified the existing um, gardens that were here. I just um, dropped some dirt in on the sides. You know, normally that center is just a long row of water, so dropped in three dirt so that you've only just got a single center for water in all four of the ones that were existing to begin with and then I built uh, a 9 by 9 um, over here just to give us some additional uh, planting space and then I had a problem there were several sheep in the area a couple of cows some horses uh, I may have to go push that one in here at some point if he decides to come up here and they were jumping up and down in the gardens so I dug a little pit over there and just dropped the animals in that pit for now we'll eventually get them um, um, in some better, you know, we've got we've got villagers stuck in houses. They're they're still all uh, for their own safety locked in their homes, and now we've got animals um, stuck in the ground. So I guess at some point we, you know, we're gonna have uh, I don't know a human rights people show up at some point, or animal rights people show up at some point. And, start getting angry at us so I uh, also went ahead and fixed the paths there were several places where the paths were uh, it is kind of the natural the way the paths are naturally uh, built they'll have gaps in them and they won't be you know they'll be jagged like this one was here and then the next step was in a step and then the third one was and, and I just I cleaned these up and kind of squared them all off um, I dug out the foundation and kind of terraced this up and dug out the foundation for the blacksmithy uh, and in doing that in this building over here I discovered a whole extra villager so if you're playing along um, and you haven't dug out this building there's a villager inside that building and there was no door on that building so I actually had to I put the dirt up the top dirt so we couldn't walk out and then dropped a door in and then put the dot, bottom dirt in so there is a, a building over here that did not have a door but it did have a villager in it so I got him integrated into the entire village uh, and I think uh, other than I took all those saplings we had and planted oh, that last one finally grew I planted them and then chopped them down and then planted them and then chopped them down and then planted them and then chopped them down I, I've spent most of the time so I would plant them all and then I'd come over here and work on pads and gardens and I go back and chop them all down and re plant them and then come back over here and work so I'm um, just kind of getting some initial supplies ready um, you know we've got to have if we're going to go down in the ground uh, speaking of going down in the ground uh, I had originally I've done a little bit of exploring out and around um, and what I was looking for was nearby extreme hills uh, I generally like to have my mine shafts under extreme hills um, because that allows us to find emeralds. Emeralds, it's my understanding that emeralds only spawn, emerald ore only spawns in the extreme hills biomes. Um, so I've done a little bit of exploring and the bad news is, the good news is that right over there, there's a huge desert. The bad news is there's no extreme hills in our immediate area. So, um, so I won't be I won't be moving away from town to go drop the mine shaft in, um, and in exploring right around here, um, there's some lava a lava pool sticking up over here. Here's where we dug that initial hole last time, uh, but in chopping trees down off this hill over here, I discovered a great big hole right over here. As a matter of fact, I want to go we'll go take a look at that right now. So I think that is probably going to become the basis for our mine shaft um, it just goes down now I don't know what I thought I saw movement down there when I initially discovered this movement right over there but uh, we'll just have to go down there and see what might be down there um, but this is 
right kind of at the back of where our village area would will come our our castle or our home will end up over there probably um, so this is probably okay if we bring this roof out kind of build a building here um, yeah yeah we can uh, we can bring these this dirt on out with some cobble that we get out of here obviously and kind of build a little building here that will become the entrance to the mine shaft. Uh, so I think this is probably going to be um, where we start our mine mining efforts. Um, I have gone and grabbed. Uh, you know, we chop, I said I'd chop down a bunch of wood and rebuilt and chop down and rebuilt trees. Uh, I have gone ahead and made a couple of stacks of ladder. Uh, we are currently at where are we? We are at Y64, and we will go to Y11. The the pools of lava that form are at Y10, so Y11 uh, keeps us deep enough that we um, should find all the diamond we ever need. Okay, let's see if I can... Um, without putting us in too much danger... of, of inadvertently getting lava in the face. Now, no, oh, you dirty rotten scoundrel. Normally, I kind of like to um, just dig straight down. Um, but obviously, I'm not going to be able to do that here if we're going to use this mine shaft. Or if we're going to use this hole in the ground as the basis. I thought I had seen movement while ago, but nothing is running over here to greet me, so. I sp oh. Poopy. Yeah, don't do that. Um, so let's go ahead and grab. I want to, obviously, I want to keep an eye on that hole. We'll go ahead and finish getting our ladders in. Alright, now we're not going to... Oh, don't do that either. Go ahead and see if we can't get this um, coal. I did turn... Uh, oh, and looky there. There's iron, so I'm glad we did this. Now, obviously, it is fairly difficult... to uh, mine hanging from a ladder. But we'll grab all this. I did turn, I think, one stack of wood into charcoal, just because I didn't have any, and uh, we needed torches to come down here. So, very nice. We like, uh, we like iron, so, or iron, as my children have been prone to say on occasions. Uh, nom, 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 nom. Hey, look, there's some more iron. So, part of my strategy for uh, exploring caves is that I stick a torch on the right hand wall. Um, so, when I'm coming out, Oh, yep. Yeah, there is something down here. If they're on my left, I'm leaving. Left is e leaving. Right is exploring. So, um, that helps me. Oh, oh, creeper. Come here, creeper. You're too close. Oh, let's not get... I got trapped myself. Running backwards. Ah, hello, zombies. Hello, Monsieur Zombie. Come to your death. Hmm, oh, I wonder if, uh... Alright. Is that it? Is that everybody? Alright. On the right. 
we will go ahead and grab this iron real quick because there's no such thing as enough iron now I did bring a couple of um, there's some more iron we will come grab this for sure hey that's cobble oh my goodness oh my goody goodness well okay so um if you're following along you're probably going to want to come down that mine shaft because looky here there is a uh, dungeon a uh, couple of records, some gunpowder, a couple of name tags, a saddle, and some horse armor. A couple more records, another saddle, redstone, redstone, wheat, and a name tag. Looky there, and what is that? That is a skeleton. So, yay! Do a dance! Do a dance! We found a... Do a dance! Alright. Uh... So we'll go ahead and that's awesome that we found that this early give us the opportunity to get a um, XP form up early um, so that might change how quickly we want to get to the nether um, ordinarily I wouldn't be um, overly in a hurry to get to the nether um, but with a skeleton spawner here if we can make healing potions um, then obviously we'll be able to uh, make the most out of that spawner that's awesome excellent um, I kind of broke my rule here. Those are on the left. Oh, that's because they're... Sorry. They really should be down here. Um, so, um, as part of that strategy, when I can't, when I need to put um, torches down to cover, to light an area like this, I put them on the floor. So, torches on the floor mean nothing. Um, and these are on the right. So... Um, Okay, so this is, hey, more iron. Excellent. Um, for those of you who may not know, uh, caves are an extremely valuable resource for finding some of the um, early resources, iron, coal, that sort of thing. Um, you'll find a lot of that in cave systems. So in the early game, See, here's some more coal. In the early game, you really should take the opportunity to explore caves uh, and mine shafts if you happen to find them, uh, abandoned mine shafts, because they generally have lots of available resources in them. Oh, well, now we got to go up there because we got to have that. Um, what you don't find is the more valuable resources. Sometimes, if the cave system is deep, you'll find some um, you'll find some diamonds in the walls. But uh, that tends not to be. I, I find almost all my diamonds from branch mining, which is what we were going to do today. Until we. All right. So this is so now I just put the torches on the left. And they're now on my left hand side. So I'm leaving. Left is leaving. Um, but I, I have a hard time passing up this kind of a gift of a cavern here. So yeah, more iron, more coal. We need the coal. There's no such thing as enough coal no such thing as enough iron yeah gonna get some coal gonna get some coal got some coal gonna find some more iron iron as the kids say iron more iron, more coal. 
Excellent. Yes, my precious. Alright, more iron. Now this is obviously, I obviously walked over this while ago because there's a torch on my left, so um, this would have been on my right. I'm going to dig straight over my head, one of the big cardinal Minecraft no-nos. Never dig straight up, never dig straight down, I'm prone to do both. Matter of fact, we're fixing to go dig straight down. Okay, so I, I feel like we got some... Uh, I don't want this episode to be too horribly long. Uh, I'll try to keep episodes um, to 15 or 20 minutes. Um, sometimes we've got a lot going on. See, we've still got... We still need to explore all that over there. Sometimes we've got a lot going on. Um, they'll be a little longer than that, but... You know, I, I appreciate you taking your time to watch these videos. I certainly enjoy making them. But uh, I want to be respectful of your time, too, so um, we'll try to keep the videos focused on the interesting stuff, if you will. Um, and this is probably work that I would not have shot video for, except that it's our first delve into um, the underworld. So so what? here's the way I normally uh, do my mind shelf. Oh, it's dark outside. So, right here is our ladders going up, so what we'll do is straddle these two blocks, and we will just dig down. Um, this will generally keep us from falling to our death and um, from falling into lava, while at the same time being extremely efficient for simply getting down to where we actually want our mine shaft. Now what I do need to do is keep this side. I, I need to be cognizant, be aware of what side the alright so we're gonna have to fall. Question is how far I think it's going to be... let's eat real quick. I think this is going to be an okay fall. I don't hear any bad guys. We're not on like... No, we're on easy. Oh my goodness! Uh. Oh look! An abandoned mine shaft! Well, uh, I really hate falling right straight into a creeper. But uh, it would have been really nice if I had seen him like a half a second sooner. But such is the price you pay for digging straight down. Well, I hear uh, I hear a skeleton too. Yikes! That was uh. Oh, grrr. Now, the really great thing about the abandoned mine shaft, we want to explore it pretty quickly as well, um, looking for melon seeds. Um, and obviously, we can pick up all kinds of extra rail carts or uh, uh, rails. Uh, and when we find those mine carts, they are a valuable resource for us as well. So, nice. And since we just happened to like not only fall on top of a creeper, but fall into some iron here, cannot pass up iron this early in the game. Must have iron. Okay, now probably. Oh, I can hear a skeleton nearby. Oh, and here he comes. As if on cue. Yay! Alright, so how deep are we? We are at Y17. So we're actually. Okay, so that means that. Um, 
that mine shaft is actually at diamond level. So we will absolutely explore that at some point. Um, yeah, there's lava right there. That is awesome. But for now, we want to go ahead and get on down. So we're at uh, 17. That'll be 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. There we go. Y11. So this is, we will build a room right here. Uh, and then we will, I can actually hear bubbling lava in one direction or the other. Let's see. Sounds like it's right back over here. Um, and this will become the basis for all of our mine shaft work. Yay! The mine shaft is in. Um, so let's just go ahead and dig out here a little bit. Wait, wait, looky there. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's over a pool of lava, and I can hear bad guys, but there's our first diamonds. There's our first diamonds. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's not get pushed off in the lava trying to celebrate. There's our first diamonds. All right, um, we will have to go upstairs and get. Uh, an iron pickaxe and a bucket so that we can drop some water but yay episode two and we found our first diamonds found our first diamonds alright guys uh, I'm going to cut this episode right here um, we didn't actually get much of this dug out um, but I will take care of that off camera and here uh, you can kinda see let me, let me actually here's what I was talking about earlier Notice that this is the floor of our mine shaft, and the the lava lake is actually at our foot level. So had we been digging through this wall, digging in a shaft like this, digging in a branch, boom, we would have popped out and seen the lava before, and it wouldn't have rolled out over the top of us like it would have if we were down further. So, all right, guys, I'm going to cut this, and I will see you in episode three. Thanks for hanging out with me.